Continuing with Lewis dot structures, let's, let's talk about ions. I want to give you just a little bit of review before we jump into these Lewis dot structures. Remember when you see that positive charge, that means that that polyatomic lost an electron. Um, if you see the negative charge, that means that the polyatomic gained an electron. So here's the cool thing. We can put the extra electron that's gained anywhere. We can take the electron from anywhere as well. Um, now, we can be strategic and predict exactly where the electron was lost or where the electron is gained using formal charge. Watch that video. Uh, but for right now, know that when you're drawing this, you can put it anywhere. You honestly can put it anywhere. It, formal charge is just a way to actually write out our best guess of where the extra, extra electron went. That doesn't, however, usually at all change the uh, Lewis dot structure itself. It just tells us which electron was the extra electron or where the electron was lost. Um, so know that there's that connection, but you can watch the formal charge. For now, I'm going to show you the principle of how to write Lewis dot structures when you have the ion. Last, last thing. Um, to show the reader that we have an ion, after we do the Lewis dot structure, we always put it in brackets, and then in that top right-hand corner, we write the charge. Okay, so let's go ahead and do ammonium NH4+. Uh, so I see that plus sign. I know I can remove an electron from anything I want to make my octet work. Uh, so let's go ahead and do the Lewis, or the electron dot. Nitrogen has uh, five valence electrons. I've got four hydrogens and it has one valence electron. Um, so nitrogen is going to be our central atom. Hydrogen can't be the central atom. I've got my nitrogen. Okay, and let's go ahead and start adding our hydrogens. So I can add a hydrogen, add a hydrogen, and add a hydrogen. Okay, I have one more hydrogen. And here's the deal. Hydrogen can only share one electron with another element. This atom right here has two electrons. So what I'm going to do, because of that plus charge, that's the electron I'm going to lose right there. We're going to remove that electron um, because we lose an electron and now the last hydrogen can share with that nitrogen. So let's check everything. Every hydrogen has a single bond perfect, has two electrons in its valence shell, it's full. The nitrogen senses two, four, six, eight. Perfect. That's an octet. Now to finish it off is this rule right here. We need to indicate to the reader that this was um, an ion, that it was a polyatomic ion. So you put brackets around the entire, you put brackets around the entire um, Lewis dot structure, and then in the top right hand corner, write the charge. So I would put a plus, and that tells the reader, oh, they lost one electron. One electron was lost on this Lewis dot structure on the polyatomic. Okay, good. Now let's do an anion. So we're going to do hypochlorite, OCl minus. Um, oxygen has six valence electrons and chlorine has seven valence electrons. I notice that minus. It means that we can add an electron anywhere we want to make this work to get an octet. Uh, so I only have two atoms. This will be a linear uh, Lewis dot. As I draw, I'll have my oxygen and then I'm going to have my chlorine. So let's give the chlorine what it needs. It only needs one electron. So let's share one electron with that chlorine, which would leave its three lone pairs. So as a reminder, the chlorine has seven valence electrons. It shared one here. So there was its one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. But now that we share an electron with oxygen, it senses two, four, six, eight. Yay. It senses a full octet. Now let's look at the oxygen. So the oxygen has six valence electrons. It shared one electron, and then to make its other six, so there would be one, two, three, four, five, six. Now if we check it, the oxygen senses two, four, six, seven. We are one short. And that's where the negative comes in. I'm going to take that, and right there, that's where I'm going to add. That would be, in essence, that extra electron. That would be the extra electron that we can add. So now the oxygen senses two, four, six, eight. Perfect. 
Now, this is a polyatomic ion. I need to show the reader that this is an ion. So we put the entire Lewis dot structure in brackets and I take that charge and put it on the upper right hand corner. And there you have it. So Lewis dot structures when we are doing ions. Well, the students will forget it's the brackets. Remember to put those brackets. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you.